time, we have come to understand that the only real way to preserve this species is by setting aside large areas of land as nature preserves. Fortunately, this is being done in a number of places. In fact, here in Sri Lanka, I am standing in one of the largest and one of the oldest nature preserves on the planet. 2,000 years ago, the princes and kings of Sri Lanka set this land aside and many hundreds of kilometers around it as a hunting preserve. In those days, the hunting activity was quite low in terms of its overall impact on the animals. So in effect, this area has been a nature preserve for over two millennia. And ever since that time, under one form of government or another, and over the course of all these centuries, the people of Sri Lanka have kept this land set aside for nature preservation. So that today, in modern times, it is a national park. In fact, Sri Lanka has an extensive system of national parks, some so large that they provide a real sense of optimism about the preservation of wild populations of elephants here. The lesson here is that wildlife conservation can be successful if enough people express the will and the commitment to do it. Wild populations of elephants can and will be maintained if we humans continue to set aside large tracts of land as nature preserves.